This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and I'm super excited to show you guys our new 43 inch uh, virtual pinball machine. Goes together cam lock system really quick. We're going to walk through that in this video. Uh, some of the options, it's going to have a, a 43 inch uh, monitor or TV for the play field, a 32 inch uh, monitor or TV for the back glass and then we'll also support a 15.6 inch uh, monitor for the DMD or a real DMD. You get to select that. Um, again, this video is going to walk through everything. You can also get graphics straps in the description. I will have a link to where you can get one or to learn, uh, get more information. I'll also post a link to our quick setup guide that we have for the software. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to start with the right side here. Uh, you can see I already put my buttons in um, and then all the cam locks going around. Uh, you might wait on these uh, because the monitor you'll have to adjust. I put mine in there as you can see, so I actually adjusted where I needed to. Uh, so those you might check your monitor first, but we'll talk about that later. So just put all the cam locks in, put the two uh, hinges in. This is for the middle bottom door uh, that opens up. All that's pre-drilled, uh, so it'll just take you a second to do this. All right, so what we're going to start doing is uh, I'll go ahead and start at the front here. Start putting in these pieces and just talk about a little bit of the button wiring and this should go together pretty quick. Okay, so you can see I put the front board on uh, and then this little lock down. I chose for the one that has the cutouts here. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit in a minute. Also, the the digital plunger cut, so I put in my digital plunger and then I will put in a coin door at some point, uh, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I can do that later. So uh, this is what it looks like on the front. So you have your four standard admin buttons. A launch button up here again if you want to add the digital plunger cut uh, you can add that you also can add a usb cut um that'll just open like that so if you want a couple easy access usb ports on the front um, again i chose you can get controls here and not controls i haven't put the ball top on yet uh, but this i'm going to have this so that way i can play like a vertical main games which i'll have in a future video um so I set the, the gate back here. I'll, I'll put a link to a video. I set this gate to four-way so it can only go up, down, left, and right because most of the vertical games like Pac-Man, Dig Dug, uh, all those old-school games would do a four-way, not an eight-way joystick. Um, so essentially I have that already changed here. I have everything wired up. Don't freak out. This is really pretty easy. You can see each button here just has a positive, uh, a positive and a ground basically for each one. So that way when you push the button, it knows to do it on the micro switch. Um, the little board, as so you can see, I have that mounted there. It just connects USB, so that way I have the USB cable already hanging out to plug into my computer. But essentially what this little board does, I don't need to go into great deal. It doesn't matter which button you plug where. Let me see if you guys can see that. But you can see down that row, it's basically 12 buttons that you can run uh, right here. So that's what I've done, just one, two, three, four, you know, all the way through. Comes with these little wires here. So you just pop those wires in and then just hit the connectors. If any of these you need to lengthen, uh, I lengthened a few of them. I just took some wire and essentially cut one of these in half in the middle so I could preserve the ends and put a little bit of leader wire in between just to extend those out. So um, again, it doesn't matter which button is which because you can figure it out in the software, which takes like two seconds in pinball. It's really quick and really easy. So um, I have all this wired up. I'll have my USB cable, my digital plunger cable, and then my two... Uh, USB cables for that little USB port in the front uh, ready to go. Um, and then I also have on 11 and 12 here, these two are ready so I can easily plug in uh, the the flipper buttons on the other side whenever I uh, put that in. So the, the trick to all this is if you have everything prepped as you put it together, really when you set the thing up, it's going to be ready to go. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of talk through everything step by step like I did there. So again, just the cam locks are hooked in. You can see where the legs are going to go. Uh, but everything's wired up and ready except again for these two here, which I'll wire when I put the other side on uh, But yeah, so that's how I put it in the front. So we'll keep uh, adding pieces now as we go around Okay, so this this again this model fits a 43 inch. This is a 43 inch LG 4k uh, Monitor or a TV. I'm using for the play field um, One trick to this is is on this monitor. It was kind of angled a little bit whenever it mounted so I hit the two on the on where the TV comes out the most I just put those in there so it kind of centered it out if I have to at some point I'll stuff something a little bit in there just to make sure that it's that it's level 
Uh, but again, with this hinge here, you have full access to this later if you need to. Um, one thing I'll say is if, if you, this is a TV, so it's not a big deal because I can use a remote to turn it on the first time. Uh, but if, if you're putting a monitor in like in the back glass, and I'll try to remember to bring it up, you might want to go ahead and plug this in and turn it on. That way you don't have to access any buttons and it'll just turn on anytime you give um, power to the machine. So you can see I just line that up and then I put the plex in the slot. Um, and then this has a bezel on it. So I just made sure that that was lined up with the TV here. You're not really going to get... Uh, there's a bezel across the back just to make it look finished, but you're still going to see some of the TV bezel here just because of the angles. I think uh, uh, for this virtual pinball, you have a seven degree angle uh, for the for the box, and then for the monitors, a two uh, two degree. So that's it. I can go ahead and plug my HDMI cable and my power cable in here, uh, just so again, like these other cables, I already have them hanging down and ready. Uh, but I'll go ahead and start putting the rest of the boards in now. Okay, so um, I put the backboard in right here, this back top. Um, one thing I'll say, you can see here that the, the way that it goes, uh, these clips go towards the back. Those will hold the back door on uh, So whenever you pop it on. So as long as, that's, as long as those are facing the right way, then you have this board in correctly. Um, so I just did the, the four cams here. Um, I'll talk about those cams in a minute. Here's the bottom door here. Um, so you can see again, here's the clips for the back door, how it'll clip on. So that's the direction that it goes. So it's the one with the fan hole in it uh, where the clips go at the back. There's also a hole here for a switch socket. So if you do want to put mount your motherboard in there or a power strip or something, and then that way you can just do this. We have a video uh, on our YouTube showing how a switch socket works. So, uh, But it's cut for it regardless whether you put it in or not. It's on the bottom so you wouldn't see it. Uh, and then put the other bottom piece in here. That one's pretty straightforward. It's just those two. So again, you could mount a motherboard there. I, I need to put the other, uh, the hinged board in. So I'll do that next here. Uh, but one thing I do want to talk about is there's two boards. So you have this kind of funky board here that has these extra cams. That's for this board here. This is essentially the leg brace board. So that's going to go in. And I'm going to try to do this. So you can see that lines up um, where the legs are going to go. Um, so all I got to do is tighten that in in place there so that'll brace for the legs and then the back door will go in that hole and clip into this which you guys will see here in a minute so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the braces on both sides so that's done and then put the hinge door on here which is just putting the four screws in okay so I put the two leg braces on here at the back and then I put this bottom door on Notice it has this latch right here, so you'll put the latch on. It's all pre-drilled for that. Um, all of this is pre-drilled, so it's real quick. So that'll just shut. Um, and essentially the other side, which I'll show you in a second, has the connector for that, so you can just reach in here and latch this bottom door how you want and reach in there and unlatch it, so that way this opens up. So um, that's it for this. So let's, let's um, talk about the other side and get it put on. Okay, so I just put the cams in. Uh, make sure you put the cams for the monitor in the same spot you put them on the other side. Again, here's the latch uh, that'll come for that door. So that's that's basically it. Just toss the cams in uh, and put this latch on. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the machine and we'll take a look. Okay, so I put the side on, um, locked all the cams, went ahead and put my two buttons in, and then wired those up. You guys can see that there. Um, there is another buttonhole right here. And that's if you're mounting your PC, you'd mount your motherboard to this board here. And then you could put a button right here, just a standard arcade button. It's right there. Uh, so that way you can hit it and it would just turn on your PC. We have a video on that as well. Uh, for now, I'm not going to put that in. Uh, the biggest thing is when you're putting this down, make sure all the cams line up. Uh, but also make sure that this plex is, is in the slot how it needs to be. Uh, it won't go all the way down until that plex is in there because it goes in the cabinet. Uh, into where the slot is so uh, that's it for this part what we're going to do now is just put the legs on I'll talk through that quickly um, it's not too difficult to do notice I built this on a table um, if you have one of these little folding tables I would do that make sure and lay something down so you don't mess up your graphics if it's kind of a uh, you know not a great table put a blanket or something down uh, but we'll put the legs on now Okay, so I got a couple of the legs 
put on. You'll want to do this on a table. It's just really easy because the way you can pull pull it around and put it on. Um, <clears throat> but basically, so you have your leg, right? And you have the two holes here for the bolts to go through. And then it comes with these brackets. So you can do black legs or chrome legs. That's up to you. You pick with this cabinet. Um, so that'll go on the inside of the cabinet. You can see it's already cut. Essentially, that's going to go on the inside like that. You can put the leg on and then put the bolts in. Uh, it's best to kind of just barely start with your hand so you can kind of feel it and get it going. And then if you want to zip them on or ratchet them on, don't ratchet them down really hard. They don't have to go down really hard. The other thing is uh, if you have a graphics pack on yours, uh, when, you're, when you're tightening this, make sure that comes down flat on the graphics side, not on this side, and then pushes towards the graphics. This is laminated, so you know if you spilled a beer on it or something, it would be okay, but... Um, uh, you don't want to like fold it up as you're tightening the legs. So just make sure the legs set down like this directly on the graphic as you're tightening it up and you'll be good to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to slide the table or slide it where it's kind of off the table a little bit. So I can put this one on. Same thing with the other one. Um, I can go ahead and tight, uh, shut this. You can see that's where the latch is. Shut that, lock that, and then set it up and take a look. So I'm going to put the other two legs on uh, and set it up and we'll look at it. Okay, so... Got it set up here so the the play field's done. Um, I'll show you the back door real quick as we walk around here. I'm gonna trip over this stuff. Okay, so the back door is gonna go on right there. And again, remember we put these little catches, the four of those. So on the back door, you'll just put the catches like that, and then. Um, I'll pop that on, but then we'll start talking through the back box. Okay, so we'll start uh, again on the right side of the back box. You can see again, I've already adjusted. I know where my monitor is going to go. A 32 inch monitor for right there. So just put the cams in and we will start putting boards on. Okay, so I got a few boards in the side here uh, we can talk through. So here's the top right here. That's a, There's a slot for where the plex is going to go. Um, there's also a clip right here, so make sure and put the clip on. Um, the monitor, 32 inch monitor. So you can see that's mounted again. I knew where, uh, how far to put it. And we'll look at the other side here in a second. And then this bottom piece here, just make sure the cams are facing you and that this hole is closer to the front. So the T molding is going to be in the back and that's how it's going to line up. You can see here, there's four holes where uh, it's going to connect to the play field. Um, we'll talk about the speaker panel in a second, just to show you guys here. So you can see how the monitor um, fits in right there. Then we'll have the speaker panel that goes right here. So just to talk through this a little bit, there's a couple options. So you can see I've already mounted my speakers. I just have some uh, speaker wire hanging here so I can run it wherever I want to in my cabinet. Um, you can do a uh, real DMD here. You can do no cutout here. You can do a 15.6 inch screen. Um, this is what I'm going to do. You'll see it. You probably already saw it in the beginning of the video of how awesome that is with the topper and the in the DVD. What I did is I made this to where it can fit a laptop screen. So those are only around 40 bucks. It's pretty cheap. And then you add a little uh, LCD controller to it. Uh, it's really easy to set up. There's only one connection here. It only goes one way. And then the blue goes up. This little thing here flips up and flips down this little black thing to lock that into place. Then you have your one cable here. This is for like your power and menu buttons for the monitor. And then you'll have your uh, HDMI, which is what I'm going to use. And then you just need a little 12 volt power supply right there. So um, the way I did this is we'll send some double sided tape. It's the easiest way because these are obviously made to go into metal cases, uh, but that'll hold that in just fine. It looks perfect on the other side. So that's how we're going to do the speaker. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in and then uh, we'll talk about the back door and we're good. Okay. So you can see I mounted the speaker board uh, down there. And then the back door basically just has two cams at the bottom because uh, it's going to hinge open. So you want to make sure and support this if you try to open it right now without both cams in. But there's a one cam there and then there's another at the top that's like a hinge. Make sure and put the clip on the top here because, again, that's how that's going to clip in and hold. But essentially, this will just close. So leave that open just a little bit. See how I have it resting on a table. Uh, leave that open just a little bit. I'll go ahead and work the cams in, tighten this up. Uh, and we should be good here. Okay, so I went ahead and put the back box on. Uh, you can see I haven't pulled the sticker off that 15 inch, but how good that's gonna look uh, once that's in here. What I wanna talk about is 
once you set the back on, so I have the back door open, I have the bottom off, or the bottom back door off, just make sure you line these up so that's where you can feed your cables. You can see here that I've already put the bolts in, but essentially it's just bolts and then wing nuts. So you put the bolts down in there, um, and there's four of those. So you can see once you have it lined up, those will just drop in. Uh, you might have to find a buddy to help you um, screw the wing nuts on the bottom. That way you can kind of hold this door up so you can put a little pressure on this. You could go either way with it. But essentially make sure you have all four of those in and have them fairly tight so this thing is uh, secured to the bottom. Okay, so that's it. It's put together. You guys have probably already seen it playing at the uh, beginning of the video. I'm going to do a video from scratch. Uh, on a PC to show you how to set up the software. Uh, the whole goal of this is to make this easy because virtual pinball in the past has not been easy. Uh, so I'm trying to get a formula together here so you guys can enjoy one of these too. And that's it. So there's a little bit of gameplay. Again, in the description, uh, there's going to be links um, to how to get all the software and everything set up. I have a new video coming for that. Also for our mid-size and our mini pinballs as well. So make sure and like the video, visit GameRoomSolutions.com.